Stores are closed, traffic has dropped, but DUIs are on the rise during the pandemic. Let's bring in Mark S. Allen. Mark, I got to give you credit because you had an, an incident that you bring up every year. You're willing to share that with the public, offering yourself as an example. And today is an anniversary for you, yes? Yeah, Mr. Walgrave, I made a promise to uh, myself and others that I would remind people at least once a year and pretty much any time the subject comes up, don't drink and drive. And also, if you think you have a problem with alcohol, you probably do and feel free to reach out to me. I would love to help you. Uh, it was five years ago on this date that I was parked, thankfully. I hadn't hurt anybody, but I was discovered and it changed my life forever. It was that moment that I got a DUI. I didn't hurt anybody, but each and every year, the stats keep going up. People are getting killed, and I don't know why. Thanksgiving. The DUIs were greater than last year, despite the fact that bars are closed, despite the fact that fewer people are on the road. Officer Barkowitz and I have become friends during all of this, and uh, again, I want to thank you for stepping forward to help me repeat this message. Uh, good morning, Mark. All beers home. Yeah, every year, happy to do this to uh, raise awareness and get people out there. I also want to thank ABC 10 for letting us do this during these times. This is great, but we need to remind everyone that drinking is going up, DUIs are going up, fatalities are going up. It's just an issue with a lot of day drinking still going on with the, even the pandemic because people are home yeah. and it's not just uh, bars. And, and I'm not here to be judgy because uh, like you have aunts, uncles, sisters, brothers, cousins that probably today will go, man, I'm lucky last night. I probably shouldn't have driven. They likely were under the influence. Let me show you something. Officer Barkowitz is going to help me with the dramatic discovery. Right now, I want you to say stop when I get to what is traditionally, uh, technically one serving of wine. You ready? All right, shout stop whenever I get to one serving of wine. Stop. Uh, really? Yeah, five ounces. All right, a bartender would not get a tip if that's what they are pouring, but that is one serving. So when you say, uh, look, I'm looking at the charts, I've only had two, I'm probably under the limit. Uh, yeah, that's not your serving. Your serving that you're calling one was probably more like that, or if you go to the bars that I used to go to, that is a glass of wine. When in fact you think you've had one serving, you've probably had four. You're probably over the limit with one. Easily. Yeah, that's way, that's 20 ounces right what there. What message would you want to give to people out there? Because you've seen the aftermath. You've seen the sadness and the lives changed in a bad way forever. No one's telling people not to drink, but try drink in moderation and have a plan. Know where you're getting, how you're getting there. If you've had that glass of wine, you're not going to be good to drive. You need to get a ride share, call someone, or just not even go out. All right. I went to jail for some time, South Placer minimum security right behind us. I don't want that to happen to you. I don't want you to lose your life, your career, and more importantly, I don't want you to lose a loved one. This young lady did. You're going to meet her in about 10 minutes as Morning Bling continues. Back Mark, to you. Mark, thank you. Good to see what the portion size should be. Officer Barkowitz is the one that actually did pull you over five years ago, and we glad he did that.